Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm here to tell you all about the 2017 Sport Trek 333 VFL Touring Edition. This is a gorgeous travel trailer, big front living room. I really like what they've done, very innovative floor plan. Uh, if you've seen some of my videos in the past, I did show this one at the Louisville show, but we have one here now, so I'm excited to do a full tour through it. Uh, starting right up front, you have the power tongue jack on here, which makes it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Your propane tanks with cover right there. You have the front cap on the front of this unit, which really gives it a uh, very slick, streamlined look to it. And of course, helps with insulation values there as well. Uh, and helps prevent leak intru or any kind of water intrusion. LED light on the front, a rock guard here too. So rather than having your diamond plating coming up the front, again, it keeps that nicer look by having the fiberglass front cap with the rock guard. When you come around to the side, you have solar access. So if you do want solar to this coach, all you have to do is buy the panels, plug it in right there, and it will start to trickle charge the battery. If you take a look underneath, this is pretty cool. This unit does have uh, power stabilizer jacks on here, but the thing I like about it is it has individual controls for either side. So you have four controls on here to control each individual jack. Most don't do that. Most have one here to control both. And if you're on an uneven surface, it can be a nightmare to get those both down. Uh, so definitely an improved system there. Take a look at this. Again, front living coach here. And what did they do? They took advantage of where the entertainment center is and on the outside here give you a outside kitchen. Nice big refrigerator for all of your condiments, beverages. You can see you have storage up top, plenty of room for all of your cups, plates, everything else you need to be up there. LED light here outside, which is nice. Uh, you have TV hookup, so if you do want TV, you can have that there as well. You have your sink right here two burner cooktop there. So if you want to do some cooking out here, you obviously can. That's why it is an outside kitchen. Full extension ball bearing drawer there for any silverware, anything else you want. And you have a little extra fold down tray. So great outside kitchen here. Uh, as we make our way down the coach a little bit, let's go ahead and take a look up top. You do see a large power awning there. Of course, just touch of a button to roll that out. Same thing to go right back in. LED lights in that, of course, as well. Uh, two outside speakers there. Those are connected to your multimedia center inside, but it is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here and you can use your smartphone or tablet, be able to control your music from outside. Uh, frameless windows on this coach. It's one of the uh, advantages of having the Touring Edition. The frameless not only give it a great aesthetic, uh, but also they have a couple other advantages. One, because the way they open, you can essentially tilt them open like this. You're able to have those open while it's raining. Uh, and you can still get a breeze coming in without filling the coach with a bunch of water. The other nice thing, the seal itself is actually tucked behind this glass, so it's better protected from the elements than your standard seals. Getting into the coach is very simple on this unit. They have gone with the more ride step system. I love this system. Uh, Montana's using it, a couple other manufacturers out there, but definitely a much higher end system, a heck of a lot more stable. Rather than having your standard steps where they bounce up and down, your main entryway here uses the more ride, and I'm telling you, these aren't going anywhere. If you have bad knees or uh, you know, you're, you're used to the floppy stairs and you hate them, this is a great thing to go to. You have the grab handle right here, this will help you into the coach. And storing them is very simple too. All you have to do is open the door up. This folds right in, locks in place. You can shut the door and you're good to go. Very, very cool. Uh, if you take a look at the uh, rims on here, they have great wheels. They have the aluminum alloy, uh, so less chance for any kind of rust or corrosion. And then you have nitrogen filled tires as well. Secondary entrance right here. Now this one does use your standard step system, uh, but this goes right into the bedroom. So probably won't use this one nearly as much unless you have guests staying up front. But we'll get to that a little more when we go inside. Uh, as you come around to the back side, a couple quick things. Again, you'll see you have both controls right back here. Uh, if you take a look underneath, you will see you have a spare tire there, which hopefully you never have to use, but in the event that you do, pretty easy to get to. You just use a tool to go ahead, crank that up and down. Uh, you have a water inlet right here as well as electric. But let's head around to the back side and the off door side, take a look at that, and then we'll head on in. 
The back side of the 333 has a couple great features. One is this right here, which is your drop down storage tray. Uh, this has a lot of different uses, very versatile. One, of course, and the main purpose is to store extra stuff while you're going down the road. So you can put bikes on here. It has an extra rail that comes up so you can attach the bikes. You can put totes to, uh, on the back here, strap them down, whatever you want to do. But again, it gives you that uh, extra storage space. Also though, it's usable when you get to the campsite. You can drop this down. You know, you can use it as an extra table if you want. Again, you know, you can just store extra stuff back here. Whatever you need to do, but again, I like that system. Uh, your ladder right here to be able to climb up onto the roof. It is a fully walkable roof. Having the ladder on the back is obviously convenient because then you don't have to bring one with you and it is always there for you. And then if you look up in the center, you will see this one is also prepped for a backup camera. This is a bigger unit, so having that backup camera can be nice just for some of the added visibility. So you come around to the off door side, right over here you have additional storage. This is where the bed is in this unit. Uh, you'll see it does have magnetic latches on there, but take a look there, great extra storage. This of course is one of two access points, the other would be inside if you lift up the bed, you can access whatever you put in there. Then right over here, we have a couple more connections. You have your city water here, black tank flush, outside shower, and this unit does have a 50 amp service. You'll see why when we go inside. Speaking of, let's head on in. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Sport Trek 333 VFL. This one is in the black diamond interior. Let's go ahead and start right up front here. So as you'll see, we, uh, this is the front living, big dual opposing slides here, make it nice and open. Uh, right here is your tri-fold sofa. So very comfortable to sit on, great for entertainment because you'll see right next to it is the theater seating. And this also does fold out into a bed. So as I mentioned, we were outside. If you do have additional guests, you can fold this out right here, have them uh, go, to, go ahead and go to bed. You do have that second entrance into the uh, rear bedroom, so kind of a private entrance, which is very nice. Uh, but you see great storage on both sides here. Underneath, you have the cubby holes. Up top, you have your end tables for any beverages or anything you need. If you want to plug in a cell phone, tablet, laptop, whatever uh, electronics you have, you have electrical outlet on either side. LED lights up top as well as an accent light there along the back. And then up top, uh, along the very top here, you see you do have good storage. Uh, nice and wide doors there as well, so it is big enough that if you have board games that you want to stick up there, you can go ahead and do that. Then in this slide out right over here is the entertainment center. So of course you have the TV front and center there. Uh, multimedia center here off to the side. As I mentioned, this one is Bluetooth capable. Great storage, especially up top. This goes above the outside kitchen there, so you can see how nice and deep that storage is. Very usable. Have the decorative glass on the front there as well. Uh, storage along the sides and underneath here you have some extra storage areas. And then front and center is one of two fireplaces in this coach. Uh, that's right, they have one here in the uh, main entertainment area, another one in the bedroom, which I think is really cool. Uh, the main reason is that not only do these give a great aesthetic, but they also put out an excellent amount of heat. It's 1500 watts there, uh, can heat up to 500 square foot, so it does a great job of taking the chill off in this space. Then right across the way here is our theater seating. So it's exactly where you want it. You can kick back, relax, put your feet up, uh, straight shot across the TV, some cup holders there too, additional storage right here up top. And this is really neat. Uh, you know, this is kind of gives some room division. This is what you want when you have a front living room, you know, make this feel a little bit more like it would at home where you have a separate living area. And then you have these nice cubby holes if you want a place to put books or decorations. And you have additional storage here underneath. Uh, attached to that on the other side is the freestanding table and chairs. You can see that right there. So it's nice to have all four chairs there. Plenty of space, but I like how they've utilized this half wall uh, to be able to make the table here nice and stable. Then across the way, it starts into our kitchen. You have a pantry with three adjustable shelves. So you can go ahead and adjust that to the size you would like. Your Norcold fridge freezer combo. Plenty of space in there. You see you have a cutout here. This unit does run off both propane and electric and has automatic switchover. The thermostat is right on the outside there too.
Microwave up top, you have your hood right here underneath. Uh, three burner cooktop, now solid surface countertops in the kitchen, which are great. And then the cooktop also has this glass cover, so you can use this as prep space if you want. To use it, of course, you just go ahead and tip that back, which also doubles as a backsplash, which is very nice. Uh, three burner cooktop there and an oven underneath if you want to do some baking. And underneath the oven, you have a nice deep drawer. So this one is great for pots and pans because it is deep enough. It allows you to go ahead and put them in there. Then right over here, uh, this is of course our main prep space, our main kitchen area. As I mentioned a bit ago, beautiful solid surface countertops, high rise kitchen faucet it is a pull out faucet to make it easier to do dishes. Uh, right in the center here, you can see your sink. You have sink top covers, uh, double bowl stainless steel undermounted sink there as well. One of the great things about solid surface is you can have that undermount, gives it a very clean look. So very usable there. Underneath, great storage. You can see you have storage underneath the sink. Over to the side here, additional storage there. And as you make your way right over here, you have a bank of four drawers, full extension ball bearing drawers, so plenty of room for silver, everything else that you want. Double plug-ins here. So if you wanna use you know, one for a coffee maker, toaster, whatever, uh, you have the ability to do that. LED lights up top, because of course you want light here while you're prepping food and additional storage all the way across the top. If you make your way into the back area here, you will see they put in two windows, which really helps lighten it up. Uh, in the very back is the bedroom. Right over here is the bathroom. Let me go ahead and take a look in there. The bathroom of the 333 features a porcelain foot flush lever toilet with plenty of room all the way around. Additional storage right up top here. Take a look at the ceiling. You see you have a couple LED lights as well as your vent fan there in the center. The shower is quite large. I'm about six foot. You will notice I have plenty of head height here. Also a nice big skylight to give you additional room and it lets in a lot of natural light during the day. Hand wand here as well as shelving along the side. So I step back out, you see mirrored medicine cabinet here up top. Then if you look at the sink top and vanity, you have great countertop space on here, which is excellent. Uh, and you have some additional storage there underneath. The bedroom of the 333 has a king size bed. This is great in a travel trailer. You'll see it is in a slide out so you can easily walk around. Plenty of room here and great storage underneath. As we lift this up, you can see that uh, this is the other access point I mentioned we were outside. So you have the, the access point from outside as well as right here. Uh, you have the leather headboard there, which is nice and comfortable if you want to sit up and read a book. LED light there to aid you. Uh, a couple of auxiliary lights, shelf on either side with electrical outlets there as well. Uh, one side does have two USB ports in case you want to plug in any phones. And then up top, some extra storage. Over to the side here, nice big wardrobe. You can take a look at that right there. Hanging rod going all the way across, which is pretty stellar. Uh, right here at the foot of the bed. As I mentioned, we were out in the living area. This is your second fireplace. They lifted it up so you're able to see it while you're in bed, kind of get that ambiance. And as I mentioned, it does a great job of heating the space up. If you have shore power, close that door. You'll be nice and toasty in here. On either side, you can see you have some cubby holes, additional storage underneath that. Uh, you have a couple full extension drawers here. And then underneath they have a cutout. I think that's pretty cool too. In my opinion, great place for some slippers. You wanna put them right underneath there so when you get up in the morning, you can put them on, make sure your feet are warm walking through the RV. Uh, window right here, LED light, TV hookups here as well. So if you do want a TV, hook it up there. You can just set it right on top here. Um, up top, additional storage. And then over here to the side, you have another wardrobe. So more hanging space right up top there. Underneath, you kind of have a, a half cabinet, but some additional storage right there. But all right, folks, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Sport Track 333 VFL. This one is in the black diamond interior. This is a great floor plan. It's a large travel trailer. It has a lot of space. You have the big front living room up front, great entertainment. Uh, outside, you have the outside kitchen, the more ride step system, individual stabilization jacks, big king bed back here, two fireplaces. This is one you definitely have to check out. 
If you're interested and you'd like price and availability, you can either give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, or you can always take a look at our website, which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, be sure to join our YouTube channel. That way you can be one of the first to see the latest and greatest from us here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.